You ready for your mind to be blown? You may not know this, but you can use a water bottle or a soda bottle or any plastic bottle as a trombone practice mute. Right now, I'm actually on a train with the Ringling Brothers. We travel all over the place and the rooms are very small and I have neighbors. Right now we're traveling for like one and a half days and I need to get some trombone time in. So what I like to do a lot of times is to use just like a basic water bottle to uh, get some practice in and it won't disturb anyone. There's three main reasons that I really like to use bottles for practice mutes. And the uh, number one reason is the price. You can get any of these items for like one to two dollars, super cheap. I know you might be thinking, well, you know, why don't I just, you know, invest in getting a practice mute? You know, they can't cost that much, right? Wrong. They can cost a lot of money. <laughs> There's practice mutes out there that range from like $30 they can go up to like $200, it's insane. Not everyone can afford a $200 practice mute. Or maybe you just don't wanna spend a lot of money on a practice mute. The second main reason that I like to use them is because of the availability of the product. You can get them at a grocery store, you can get them at a gas station, or even vending machines. So if you're out and about and you don't have a practice mute, you can pretty much get them anywhere you go. And believe it or not, you might live somewhere where you can't just go buy a practice mute. You have to order it from Amazon because Band and orchestra stores are really hard to find sometimes. The other thing is, you might just have water bottles around the house. Now the third reason that I like to use them is the most important rule of all. They work surprisingly well. There's not a lot of resistance and it really lowers the volume of your instrument when you're practicing. Step number one, you gotta empty this bottle somehow, whether it be you pour it out or you can drink it yourself, which is what I'm about to go do. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, not gonna need a cap. I missed. It needs to be open if this is gonna work. I also brought a water bottle. I'm gonna experiment with both of them and see which one works better. They're both a little different shape, so who knows, anything can happen. But since I just drunk this Coca-Cola and just had more caffeine than I need for the day, I'm no longer thirsty and I don't need this, so... Now this is empty. I'm about ready to use both of them, but first, just so it's not gross, I'm gonna wash out the Coca-Cola bottle. All right, it's washed, it's clean, I'm ready to rock. Also going to need my trombone for this. Here we go. First of all, I want to compare and just see which of these practice mutes or bottles are going to work better. This is the Coca-Cola one. Okay, so just from my, my quick little demonstration, this really takes down the volume, but it really messes with the intonation, which isn't super important because it's supposed to be silent. Anyways, but um, yeah, it works It works really good. There's a little bit of resistance on this one, but still, again, not too much. All right, next I'm going to try the water bottle. <laughs> Okay, sorry Coca-Cola, water bottle wins this round. Okay, the water bottle is definitely better. I'm not 100% sure why, can't say I'm a bottle expert. I do know that this is less stiff than the Coca-Cola bottle. I don't know if that has anything to do with anything. That's sort of the case. They're both really easy to hold in the bell though. I gotta say, of these bottles, the only problem with using these is you have to hold it in the bell. I have not figured a way how to keep them in the bell without holding them but it works. Now I also have this practice mute that I bought from a store in Chicago, which took me forever to find. I went to like five music stores in Chicago and finally found one with some actual practice mutes that were not the Yamaha Silent Brass system, which is like $200. 
almost impossible to find. Another good reason for using a water bottle. Called a Shastock Mute. Can't even find it on Amazon. I don't know where they got this. Uh, well, let's use it. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so this mute, what's good about it, this was like $30, by the way, it was super cheap. It's a lot more than the bottles, but um, it works. Intonation is pretty good on it, but you don't have to hold it in the bell. The problem is though, if you'll see, when I was um, playing on it, there is so much freaking resistance on this thing. It's insane. If you like pull the slide in, it just like puffs up your cheek and your head's gonna freaking explode. It makes it quieter, but it's not that much better than those bottles that I was just using. So I have this, but I don't usually keep it with me anyway, so. Oh well. So I guess if you want to know how to hold the bottle in the trombone, I just kind of put it in there, hold the bell at the very bottom, just put two fingers on the front. I might tilt it down a little bit just so to let a little bit of air get through. And it works. <laughs> Even the range is really good on this thing. It's crazy. Well, I guess that's it. I hope you guys learned something new and maybe you'll give this a try sometime. Let me know in the comments if you like the idea or if you think it's completely stupid. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Peace. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching that video. Um, I was very happy to share it with you. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more videos like this, I plan on making more in the future. So, you know, subscribe, share the video if you really enjoyed it, and I'll be making more videos just like this in the future. I also have, I, I play concerts, I post them, I make songs, I do all kinds of like loop trombone videos, just a bunch of fun stuff. I hope to see you guys in the future. Smash that like button if you liked it, of course. Anyways, thank you so much guys. Peace out. I'll see you next time.